I remember going out fishing one weekend with my dad, and we headed up this logging road, and it was, you know, it was an old deactivated road, so there was cross ditches, a little bouncy, and we got to this nice little lake. Uh, he was pointing up on the side hills and saying, you know, see that area there? Well, I, you know, I fell that area, and so it had been replanted, and it was reforested, uh, growing well. I have a memory of when I was in grade four, going to the couch and lake uh, demonstration forest area, and piling on a school bus and going out and seeing what forestry actually meant. I had the great fortune of growing up in the Campbell River estuary when it was a log boom and log sort, um, and certainly remember, um, you know, uh, coming down from from where I lived and, and being one of those kids running along <laughs> the log sorts, and my mom yelling at me to get back up to the house and get off the logs. I've always wanted to be in the forest industry from the time I was a kid. There was something about the forest industry that, that I always found fascinating. A neighbor actually suggested, as I liked the outdoors, said, maybe you should go talk to my brother. He's a research ecologist in Victoria working for the Ministry of the Forest. And so I did that at that time. I went down to visit them. And his passion for forestry and the way that he talked about the opportunities um, really attracted me to the industry um, and it attracted me to the uh, idea about a highly skilled profession that is working to uh, create a, a vision for, for BC. One of the things that he said is become a forester, you won't regret it and I haven't. The forest industry I think is critical to the economic future. Uh, of Campbell River. According to the updated BC Jobs Plan, uh, it contributed $7.3 billion to the BC economy, which is substantial. Uh, there's a place for a lot of different skill sets. For us, over the past year, uh, in 2016, we posted 2,600 jobs total. Um, and of that, 15% uh, or 404 jobs uh, posted were directly uh, involved in the forest industry. And when I look at the secondary jobs that are created by the forest industry, there's a strong and very, very viable economic future. Well, certainly the forestry industry touches on many different occupations. Uh, so, you know, everything from civil culture to harvesting, production, transportation, trades, um, right through to more of the professional, technical, um, forestry consulting manufacturing. Any forestry work that gets carried out, um, there's a huge amount of information that's required beforehand and afterwards to make sure that you're achieving what you need to. And having the skills to interpret those rules and regulations and incorporate them into your plans is really critical. It's it's no longer just, you know, the face of logging, it's also the natural resource consultants and um, engineers and uh, civil culture and that whole lifestyle of forestry that really makes for a sustainable uh, industry. So there's a lot of um, skill and expertise required in forestry work these days. On staff and strategic, there's a whole range of people with different uh, degrees and professional designations required to carry out this work. Forestry is about people, and forestry is about values. All the values identified both at a, uh, a legislated level, but also at a community level are protected and there's a balance struck. And those values include recreation, they include visuals, they include fish, wildlife, and uh, all the things that we care about. We're very uh, conscious about meeting and even exceeding the environmental standards. Well, safety is, is the number one priority for anybody working in the business today. We can't operate without being safe. Making sure that you're maintaining all of those values is a constant challenge and it's something that I find is really rewarding in this area. And I'm proud to be a forester because it's a privilege to manage uh, public lands and it's a privilege to ensure that we're doing it in a positive way in which to generate renewable wood products uh, and renewable wood products for people to use within their homes in a product that allows all of us to know that we are using the most sustainable and green building material on the planet. I think that the future of forestry really 
um, is dependent on a highly skilled adaptive workforce. I think that programs such as the Cary High Forestry Program that lead into programs and training at North Island College and other post-secondary institutions are absolutely key to the uh, continued success of the industry. That's why Campbell River uh, appealed to us because it had uh, a good workforce. It had a ready workforce. It's, a, it's an exciting time for the, the future of forestry in terms of connecting with um, uh, new workers and, and um, encouraging them to consider forestry as, as, a, as a career path. All the technology that's coming into the industry today can thrive in Campbell River. You know, we're seeing steep slope mechanical falling, all of those sorts of things that we never thought were going to happen are happening. And with Campbell River, with, with the train we've got, with the species profile that is harvested around here, I think we have, uh, we have a forest sector that will survive the market cycles that are going to continue to happen. Campbell River, it's kind of a hub of forestry on the island. It's close to a lot of the timbered forestry areas. Um, however, it's still got a population large enough that people want to live here. There's all the support services that go along with it. Um, so this is a very important area in the future, which I think that our young workforce here is really ready for the challenge. So it's a very accessible community for the more remote uh, logging operations. We can work on the west coast, we can work north of Campbell River, we can work south of Campbell River, and all return home here at the end of the day. There's a lot of services that are provided here. A lot of our, our workforce works here. And uh, with a supportive community, I, I see that there's no reason for that to change. And the future of forestry for Campbell River and the region is incredibly bright.